this is a fun but useful part of our seminar today. How to use a piece of cloth, a towel, just like in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a jacket to really improve your chances in a knife fight. Really improve. So all this thing was extracted from a Middle Age a historian, European martial art codexes. So it's not mine. And uh, I think they were talking about using a cape. So this old towel will substitute. First of all, how, how should I roll it? I should hold it in a way that will give me some flexibility to either drag it on the floor, which we'll be using immediately, or swinging it, or creating a flexible armor over my arm, OK? So if it's a jacket, it's a good thing to grab in the middle of the, of the collar, OK? A heavy jacket is better. Anything uh, that has some can really help me against cuts and swings. What to do against stabs, we'll see in a minute. Let's take a look at the jacket. 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 I'm holding the cape or jacket in my weak hand. Okay, so I'll use it as a shield. First technique, defending against a cut. Umoteshto, okay, or hidari yokoman. So I'm rolling it and I have this shield. And you'll be doing the same. Yeah. That's correct. So I tried it with a very sharp kitchen knife. And uh, first of all, I tried it. And then I put it on my hand. And the knife cuts each time only a fraction of the towel. If it's a jeans jacket, it's a really good defense against cuts. Against stabs, that's a different story. OK, because a sharp knife will penetrate three or four layers of towel or a jacket, no problem. But, but there is a solution. Again, it's not my solution. It's a HEMA solution, historian European martial art. So let's practice using it. So you hold it like this and hold it like this. And you cut me. And I defend and I cut you. OK, and again, one, two. Extending this, extending this forward doing Tai Sabaki backward, and answering. So just basic to get to know the weapon. Those are easy. First exercise. What happens if he cuts the other way? So let's do it first without a cloth or a jacket or a towel. When he cuts me this way, I'll defend like this. Why? Because I'll never catch a hand with a knife. It's so fast. OK? What I'll be able to do is use this as a shield. And if he will penetrate the shield, then he'll cut the outer side of my wrist and not cut this side. Because if he cuts here, I will not be able to use my hand. OK, if he cuts here, I have a few more seconds if I am tough to use it, OK? Because these are the crucial tendons that grab the knife. If he'll cut these tendons, I will not be able to grab a knife or a weapon. So we used the omote, OK? The hidari migi, yokoman, hidari yokoman. Now let's do the other side, the ura. So if he cuts from here, I'll defend like this. And I'll 
Well, what to do against the stab? Well, if I'm not lucky, okay, when trying to, then, then I'll get hit. If it hits here, it'll penetrate a regular jacket. Okay, if I catch the blade like this, then I can. So just to get a feel of the length of my cape, if you're Superman or jacket, if you're just like a regular person, okay? Just to get a feel for the length, let's try to stab. Please be careful. Uh, a lot of us are using T-shirts. First of all, the T-shirt will not be useful against the cut even with this. And a stab will penetrate it like, like nothing, okay, with this kunai. So, so just again and again. That's it. So I want to use it. Please practice this. I can use this as a shield. I can use this as a trapping net when he stabs me. And I can use it as a, a trap. So I'll leave it especially against a dashing opponent, opponent who dashes towards me, OK? Deception, OK? And then I'll do this, and this, again. And then I'll say, what? Oh, mote. OK? And then I have the opportunity. I have the opportunity to block cuts, cuts, block cuts, Stabs, trap the stabs. Ambush him. And create an opening. And create an opening before a strike. 